thoughts on that formation tonight? A slight change with Ayer sitting in front of the back four, maybe just to try and stifle Clayton Silver coming through the middle. Will we see a back three, possibly Chunungra at right back? He has used Kiriakou before in that position, so... You know, you don't want to split up even Gonzalez and Chunungra as a central partnership, so let's see how they start tonight. Ball mad in Goa, but neither of these teams are on the beach just yet. It's East Bengal and a chain strip of all white tonight, kicking from right to left in the first half. That's what he said they've been working on, adding that little bit of bite into their play. Brandon. Not through the legs of Jerry quite easily as well. Nicely put back over the top from Edu Badia. He was just leaning back when he hit the shot. Great build-up play by Goa. Brandon Fernandez looks so balanced tonight and pulls a little nutmeg on Jerry there and whizzed this one across the box. Just needed Edu Bedia to believe and keep his head down and put that one on target. Noah just playing off the shoulder of Chununga. Noah almost upended and into the net by Guarachena, who scores yet again. And despite East Bengal's positive start, it is the Gauls that take the lead. It's great movement again from Devendra, taking that ball through. Noah Sadoi there, just got on the other side of Chununga, but who was fastest to the rebound? The star man, Ika Guarachena. It's a good little ball there, asking questions of the East Bengal back line. And Noah Sadoi just did enough to put Chununga off, and then it became Ika Guarachena's to miss, and he was not going to miss from there. Chununga didn't quite get enough on the ball. Be a little fortunate for Go that it did run into the path of Guarachena, but when you're in good form like he is, he was quick to the ball, quick to react. And the Spaniard has another hero ISL goal to celebrate as we at the moment. This is Noah trying to create an opening once again into the near post and in off the post from Guarachena, who gets his second of the match. Just got enough contact on the ball, and once again, it's come from that left hand side for Goa. More misery for Chung Nunga and Guarachena heads in his second of the match and go and double their advantage. Taking Chung Nunga on the dance floor again and said, can you keep up with me? Do you know my steps? And the answer is no. And that left foot of his so dangerous. Perfect ball into that near post area. And Guarachena is acting like a number nine this season for the Gauls. Beautiful glancing header against the posts and put themselves 2-0 in front early on here. A brave header as well because even Gonzalez was going in one that the great Coro I think would have been proud. Oh. For one from Brandon, just a little bit too high for Fares. Not even back in again by Sanson over the top for Guarachena. I think it might do an offside flag. Don't think there was. Wait to come off a, an East Bank goal player last, but I'm sure Guarachena will be looking at claiming the hat trick. It's another brilliant piece of play. It looked like the chance had gone with that long corner when Farris's head had just looped up in the air. Well, I can't believe what we're witnessing here at the Fatorda tonight. Leaving Guarachena in the second phase of play, and he lifted it over. The goalkeeper to perfection. Must be one of the quickest hat tricks we've had in the league. Certainly this season, it's the quickest. Unbelievable stuff from the goal. Iko Guarachena smelling where the goal is tonight. Putting his side 3-0 up in the first 24 minutes. I think that was going in, so we're going to give it as a hat-trick to Gorachena. I'm sure we'll be told otherwise, but he won't want that taken away from him, that's for sure. Got there before Kamaljit. Yeah, it's going into the net, despite Sumit Passi. First hat-trick since he scored three for Lagrones against Zamora back in September last year. Prize that Edu Badia tops that list, all Goa players in there again. Jerry. You get that one across, and what a chance side netting, though. The first time we've seen Jerry break forward, and he got lucky with a little deflection, but that's a glorious opportunity at the back post. He needed to head that one and on target across the goal. Continuing his good run of form in the Hero ISL this season. That's a good spin from Noah Sadui into the Ventra. Couldn't get a positive touch on it. Guarachena arriving. Stabs it goalwards, but stabs it wide. We've seen this move before, where he goes one way and then goes the other way with his body. He's so sharp with all his movements, Noah Sadoin. Guarachena arriving late, almost getting his fourth goal of the game. But we do want to see more of this, please. Noah Sadoi got his dancing shoes on tonight. Suffered that little blip with a couple of defeats. We're giving the ball away here, though, and it's a chance for East Bengal to get back into the game. But once again, Mobashir has put the shot wide, and 
Well, they just cannot hit the target at the moment. Deerash can watch the ball go wide. Romayosh and Deerash between them. Well, there goes the half-time whistle, the yellow card for Eddie Badia. Just a one downside, really, for Goa in that first half, a first half that was dominated by some exciting forward play for FC Goa. Three goals in 12 minutes. Tough for East Bengal, can they shut up shop? No side has conceded more goals than FC Goa in the first 15 minutes of a second half. It's their most vulnerable spell. Eddie Badia and Brandon! Oh! That just emphasises the form that he's in at the moment. Everybody was expecting Edu Badia, but step forward, Brandon Fernandez with a quality free kick. And FC go up, make it four. Camel Jin at full stretch, got nowhere near it. It's another brilliant goal for Goa. You will not have a better free kick in the season than that, Brandon Fernandez. Side netting, beautiful action, curl all around the wall. And the goalkeeper was not ready, couldn't get across, and the power and the swerve took that right into the corner. Brandon Fernandez, Carlos Pena, ecstatic. They go 4 0 up. Turn from Mobishia. Mahesh, big one in, and Sahir gets a goal back. Nobody picked him up at the back post. There'll be no clean sheet for Goa. But Sahir finally manages to get an effort on target. I think that's their first effort on target in the match. When you saw Mahesh line this up, well, you can see about three players, at least four white shirts inside the box, and VP Suhair was unmarked. Everyone attracted to the ball. That's how you head a ball. Try and head it back cross goal with a little bit of power, but Mahesh, again, he's starting to find that rhythm. Hasn't had a, an assist for a couple of games. That'll do his confidence a world of good. Is there a little bit of a hope here for East Bengal? Perez is forward. Great delivery. And the header from Farris is pushed away. Farris got himself away. He was right up there and hit the posts. Kamaljit possibly not going to get there. It's a great leap from Farris Anayul. That's a super, super jump. Just couldn't direct his header. By Mahesh. Oh, it's guided in. And East Bengal have got another. Edu Badia didn't make the header cleanly. And Stephen Constantine side have scored a second goal. And is this the comeback on for them? Mahesh again, super delivery, what we've come to expect from him this season. Sata Guli, unidentified, unmarked inside the box. FC Goa have to go and close that. Edu Bedia possibly coming out of his zone to try and crunch that one in. But is there a little bit more hope now for East Bengal? He's got all the energy to do so. Redeem, no foul. Right across goal, Kamalji just got a hand to it, pushes it onto the post. Warachena went for the curler. And curls it just wide, East Bengal furious, they felt that was a foul. Well, just when you think nothing's going to happen for FC Gora on the offensive end, something happens there, Redeem Talang threw his body weight around, that's a super save. Kamaljit, and then the action here continued on, just there, I don't think that's a foul from Redeem Talang, he's got himself in there, but Kamaljit, good right hand, gets down low, and has a bit of help from the post as well. Stoppage time, seven minutes to be added by Raul Kumar Gupta, so still a bit of work to do. Mahesh in again. Hayton Silva at full stretch, didn't make contact, and normally when that ball's fizzed in like that, it's normally hitting the back of the net where Clayton Silva's concerned. Some real quality from both Mahesh and Sadoi, but right here, Mahesh, that is inches away from Clayton Silva. Possibly he was wearing the metal studs. Would he have got his touch on there? Awkward height, great ball, great delivery. Crossed by Ivan Gonzalez, but well defended by Goa. And that surely will be it as the full time whistle goes. And Ika Guarachena picking up the third hero of the match award this season for FC Goa after that superb first half hat trick in 12 minutes. May have found a new and an unlikely hero. Brandon Fernandez was also on the score sheet enjoying his best spell of the season as well. Sartak and Sahar pulled late goals back for East Bengal to set up a final. Nervy few minutes, but in the end, Goa held on. It's finished FC Goa 4, East Bengal FC 2.